Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a Warhammer 40k showcase video of Blood Angels Commander Dante. So it's the older metal miniature, um, the one from, I don't know what edition, I think probably third edition, maybe even. I think this is the Commander Dante miniature that was on sale when I very first started playing, if I'm honest, which is probably second edition or third, probably third edition back in, uh, I don't know, like early 2000. It's a long time ago, really. Anyway, uh, the miniature's pretty cool. I painted this for David at Snake Eyes Gaming. So Snake Eyes Gaming, if you've not heard of him before, is a, a small YouTube channel. Like, well, I suppose we're all small YouTube channels. Um, you know, less less than a thousand sort of thing. Um, and they do sort of terrain and hobby projects, updates on his personal armies. And um, they do review videos, they go to some of the events, that sort of thing. Like, all sorts for wargaming, so they've got you covered. Um, and it's a cool channel, so check them out. Um, so yeah, this was painted to match, basically, the, um, David's army. So it's going to be like... Pretty much the same as the box scheme, um, but with some purple gems instead of the um, like you normally do like red or green ones or something. And then the on the parchment as well, the uh, the purity seals are purple and not the classic like red or blue. So yeah, pretty good. Um, really, really had fun painting them. Some of these older miniatures remind me of when I first started playing, which is really cool because it like reminds me of when you when I first started. Like Blood Angels was the first army I did, and then Orcs out. Always have a bit of a soft spot for him, for those reasons. So there's not a great deal to say about it. It's, um, it's retributor armor under a black primer, over a black primer, sorry. And then uh, auric armor and liberator gold, just painted uh, in you know successive highlights like you would normally do with a color, and then a silver edge highlight. Um, the gray was like eshing gray over black stuff like that. It's like classic standard colour, just a tabletop level miniature but came out really well and then the, the axe in particular zoom in a little bit, we've got some of that cool blend in, you know that, you do that thing where when you change surfaces you change from like painting the light at the bottom and at the top, that sort of thing <laughs> I'm not doing that justice, but then I've also been messing about with Alclad paints just lately um, and this has got a candy blue glaze over it which really again just drew all the layers together They're really cool so did a little glowing blue eyes and then, if I just turn him around, obviously you can see the flying stand, just there. So, uh, I got a, p a piece of the flying stand and sort of carved a little piece out where the bottom, it's like the um, like back of the crotch plate, um, and sort of cut a groove into it where that would neatly sit in, and then did the same at the top, so just underneath the jump pack and on the back, then there's boom, basically little, little notches cut into the flying stand. And then that way um, it could stand. The guy asked for a little bit of height off the base to give him a bit of a, a bit of a presence sort of thing. And so uh, we got that, like, you know, like probably two or three centimetres up off the base. Um, and then obviously based grass and tufts to match his existing stuff. So really cool. Like I said, really really cool to do it. Always a little bit nostalgic, um, which is always nice. And yeah, there's obviously not not an updated model. I feel like in eighth edition, Blood Angels. Well, I hope they do anyway. They should get a, uh, some sort of an update. I remember in the I forget which index appendix it is, but some of the new eighth edition stuff. There's a sanguinary guard character, um, and I remember there's a few different things like that before. Um, like the sanguinary priest had rules way way before the sanguinary priest clan pack model. So I'm hoping there's going to be a few things updated, just similar to that, basically. Like uh, Commander Dante needs a new miniature, especially some of the ones that are, that are coming out with now. Um, he is showing his age, but then, like I said, it's probably uh, 15 years old. So there you go. So that's it. Uh, this picture's on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash powerhouse miniatures. Um, I've got an Instagram account, right? I'm with the kids now. Cause <laughs> never did that, even in my personal life. I've never got Instagram. So I'm on there now, which is at powerhouse miniatures. So you can check me out on there. Um, I hit 500 subscribers recently. So cheers for that, because that's awesome. And I meant to do a little video, but I've been, if you've noticed, my uploading has been kind of shocking um, but yeah I hit 500 so I was really really pleased with that um, and thank you to all of you basically because it's it's pretty cool um, you can connect with people out and so that is it anyway um, Snake Eyes Gaming check them out we've got a cool little YouTube channel as well um, and all sorts of videos there you can check out so that's it uh, as always cheers for watching